Hi and welcome to the sub-module on the Human Right to Water and Sanitation. My name is uh, Emanuele Fantini and I'm researcher at the Water Governance Chair Group at the UNESCO Institute for Water Education in Delft. I've been following issues related to the human right to water and sanitation since my master thesis in 2001. At that time, uh, water uh, was not explicitly acknowledged as a human right at the international level. That happened only a few years later, in 2010, with two resolutions by the UN General Assembly and the UN Human Rights Council. But the process was a highly contentious one, sparking debate uh, among international organizations, national governments, um, NGOs, social movements, and the private sector. I've been studying those uh, issues mainly focusing on two cases. Uh, first, the um, Italian water movement and the uh, uh, fighting against the privatization of water services in Italy. And secondly, the relations between water, politics and development in contemporary Ethiopia, which I'm currently studying by exploring the use of visual and research methods. So today I would like to give, um, offer you an overview of this debate by focusing uh, in the debate and its implication by focusing mainly on two objectives. The first one is to present different approaches to and narratives on the human right to water and sanitation. Who are the actors that uh, are talking about this right? In which context? Um, through which tools or um, activities do they translate the idea of the human right to water into practice? The second objective is to look at the, uh, how these different approaches understand and deal with equity issues. And in order to achieve the, these two objectives, we will focus on three different approaches and their narratives on the human right to water and sanitation. First, we will look at international organizations, namely the UN, to see how the human right to water and sanitation has informed the framing of the United Nations global agenda of, uh, for development and in particular the sustainable development goals. Then, second, we will, we will turn to social movements to see how they refer to the human right to water and sanitation in their struggles against the privatization of water services with two cases, one from Europe and one from the so-called Global South. And finally, third, we will turn to the private sectors, namely private water operators, to see how they uh, how they've incorporated the uh, human right to water and sanitation in their strategies, in their corporate social responsibility uh, strategy. In order to do so, uh, each of the approaches will be introduced by a short presentation, then there will be videos and uh, reading materials describing how the uh, describing and portraying the approach into practice. For each of the three uh, approaches, uh, you will be asked to uh, note your idea and comments on two main issues. The first one is who are the, uh, the right holders? Uh, how different approaches portray them and what kind of uh, solutions they put forward to implement the uh, um, the human right to water and sanitation. And the, the second uh, issue and the second question is how the three different approaches understand uh, and deals with equity issues. Finally, before starting, two important remarks um, on terminology. Uh, the first is that when we talk about the human right to water and sanitation, we uh, we're talking.
talking about one right, as it has been acknowledged by the UN. However, it, it is important to bear in mind that for some specialists, uh, <coughs> water and sanitation, from a legal perspective, are considered two different and separated rights. And also, uh, it's good to bear in mind, bear in mind that for, uh, in, um, from a political perspective, when it comes to policies, water and sanitation, access to water and access to sanitation, enjoy different degrees of implementation of political status and uh, attention. Uh, the second point is that uh, the second point of terminology is that when we are um, talking about the human rights to water and sanitation, we refer to access to water for domestic and personal uses. Here we are not dealing with uh, with um, issues with uh, water for productive activities such as uh, agriculture. In that context, often, often the expression water guides is used to indicate different frameworks and systems to allocate water among different users, different groups and different activities. But here we will not deal with water guides, we will just focus on the human right to water and sanitation for individual and domestic purposes. Okay, I think now we can begin and I hope you, you will enjoy.